Joining us now is our Bloomberg contributing editor, Jay Margolis, our retail expert, uh, retailer in residence. <laughs> this is a very exciting time for retailers. September numbers, I was just your uh, previously with Sheila. Right. Uh, their anniversary, really good numbers from a year ago. They blew away Even the Even though numbers. they had easy comparisons? Not so easy for companies. They, there was a big jump this, this past year, uh, last year to this year, in terms right. of the comps they had to uh, achieve. And I think Victoria's Secret and Abercrombie and Fitch is a really good sign. Nordstrom's, Saks are the higher end seems to have made a real leap forward and consumers obviously shopping. Right. Lower end seems to be obviously uh, suffering a little bit. Raw stores, JCPenney, a couple of not, did not hit the numbers we Why thought. Why is that? Are they mismanaging their inventory? Are they not marketing well enough? I mean, what's going on there? You know, I've always on the show talked to you about brands and if right. you think about brands and the value they bring and the consumer, you know, the tribe that they build, I think Victoria's Secret has done that. It's an interesting number in that they didn't do, they canceled one promotion because the launch of a new bra did so well well, they could actually pull back some of that activity, and I think that's great for a brand. And I think those companies are doing it. Penny's did launch a bunch of new initiatives this year, and I thought we all thought the numbers could be even better. And the and stock has gone. They were okay. They okay. just weren't as good as uh, I think the effort they put in. However, it's all a great sign. September sales going into Christmas. A lot of testing is going on now. A lot of things can still be moved on to obviously uh, get to the consumer Christmas time. Right. So does that mean that we won't see as much discounting as we might have seen in the last few seasons? Or no? I think a lot more than last year. Last year, inventory, everybody last year. was scared. So when you buy six, nine months in advance, I think that uh, retailers were more aggressive going into this season. I think they did plan for promotions. So key items at a price, I think you're going to see a very promotional. It has been a promotional holiday it for a long, been, long yes. time. But I think everybody's planned for it. I think that the momentum into the season is great. So I think back to school, into this, the young, all the young retailers, Aeropostal and Abercrombie and American Eagle, as mentioned, seem to be skewing in the right direction that bodes well for well, Christmas as are well. Are retailers even now in October starting to see any kind of pre-holiday shopping activity or not yet? Is it still too early? I think it's a little early. I think there's the testing going on. So if there's a sweater that did well or an item that they can jump on and really maximize for the season, that's an important part of our business. I've again talked to you a lot about yes. speed to market and who are the agile retailers out there. Right. They're going to win because I think they can use their inventory in a more creative way. I think that the planned promotions are there. The one thing that does come across clearly Labor Day sales helped to drive September. Columbus Day, already in the paper today, mm. huge sales, you know, four-day, almost like a Black Friday sale. I think sales are becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a day they have to drive volume, and they're becoming more aggressive at it. So you're not going to see just one Black Friday. You're going to see a bunch of them going into going Christmas. Into the, into going Christmas. Christmas. Okay. I just think so they're more planned. by that time, you'll be tired of shopping. <laughs> Hope never tired of shopping. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, so inventory, though. Are these retailers then, you know, are they sharpening their inventory skills a lot? better than going in. Yeah, I think they are planning better per door and planning their inventory. I'm a little nervous, though. There was a, a, a number on, um, I think it was in the, in the Times the other day, about shippers actually putting on more boats and, and other places mm. uh, to get more goods here faster. And I started thinking about how, what is that going to mean relative to inventory levels, and did people get more aggressive for the season? Uh, if it's planned, that's great. If not, you're going to see a lot of promotion going on. Okay. All right. We'll wait for those. Thank you so much, Jay. Good to see you again. Great seeing you, baby. That was our Bloomberg contributing editor, Jay Margolis.